So hey guys, welcome back. Today we are going to continue our system design. <laughs> no, design pattern interview questions. Design pattern is an interview question which can be asked in all the service based companies. Mostly it will not be asked in a product based company, but it will be asked in a different fashion that they will be giving you a low level design problem where they will be expecting you to come up with some kind of design pattern to give a solution on it. So let us start with the first question of today. Uh, the question is, what is the, are the examples of interpreter design pattern? First of all, we need to see what is an interpreter. So uh, for any design pattern, just think about it. If their name will give you all the examples, all the real time examples of it. The only reason you will stuck in the explanation is when you want to do the examples from the JDK or from Java or from some other sites. So here interpreted design pattern, we have taken example of SQL. So it actually evaluates, it used to evaluate sentences in a language. So suppose uh, in SQL, we can use it to evaluate your query by evaluating each keyword like SQL from where class. So it's basically every keyword and symbol is a class, okay? And the sentence will be just a composite of each other, of these keywords. So this sentence will be like, uh, basically represented by a syntax tree, right? Basically, we should always start with select and then we go like that, so. Yeah, so in JDK, we know that we have pattern and normalizer date format, message format, number format, and this kind of thing. So basically three things is to remember. These are the examples in JDK. So now let us go to the next one. So the next one is what are the examples of mediator design pattern in JDK? So what is a mediator and how it is different from an adapter? You should understand the point. First of all, with mediator, we can decouple multiple objects that interact with each other, okay? Therefore, it is always useful to create many-to-many -many relationships. While an adapter actually transforms one, uh, one particular object to uh, another object. So this is how different it is. So in JDK, there are many places where this design pattern is used. However, it's not one of the best or most one design, most asked design pattern. But if you talk about schedule method in the timer, uh, it acts as a mediator between the client and the timer task, right? Then you talk about the executor dot execute method. It also acts to execute different tasks. Then we have concrete service like executor service. Then we have a method dot invoke. It can invoke any uh, one, right? So this thing will be a mediator. Now we can call, talk about strategy design pattern in JDK, what are the examples of it? So example is a comparator. So we have a compare method, which can you can always change the strategy. Then we have a servlet. In the servlet, we have an example. I don't want to go to servlet, but you can think about a servlet class. We have do get do post method, so which can take HTTP request and response. And here we can implement many things, right? Now let's talk about what are the examples of a visitor design pattern? So what does a visitor design pattern means is that you can add virtual methods to your existing classes without modifying their core structure. How it is resembled to visitor is basically you visit it, you, you do what you want to do, but uh, the main architecture of the house is not changed. So in JDK, we have many examples like annotation value, file visitor, type mirror, element. So, but don't worry about this. This is not the question which will be asked my, a lot of time, but this one, this one is the question which can be asked. What is the difference between decorator design pattern and proxy pattern? So we know decorator is what? We need to add some new methods or we need to add some new functionalities so that when one, we can use decorator. Example is file input output stream, right? As we talked about it, like we can use zip, we can use buffered input stream, we can use some other things uh, like that. Proxy is something where you are using the same thing, but you are just trying to not hitting the same architecture, you're trying to go, do a kind of a 
cloning kind of a thing so as i told you decorator is something which provides you an enhanced interface after decorating with additional features while proxy provides you the same interface since it is just acting as a proxy now decorator is a type of type of composite pattern so it will be having only one component but each decorator can addition have add additional features now uh, there is no object aggregation here in decorator because we are using only one component but in proxy can also proxy can provide you performance improvement by lazy loading because you can only initiate those things when you actually want so the proxy will take care of going down and giving you the objects when you want it while decorator you have to do it then decorator decorator will provide you a recursive composition proxy is just one subject to another object access so one object to another object access decorator is usually uh, used for building variety of objects so like uh, as i told you about file input stream example that, that's the best example i have seen proxy is mainly used to use access another object but you don't want to show what is a real part which is act actually accessing uh so what are the different scenarios to use setter and constructor based injection in dependency injection design pattern so the question is you know what is a dependency injection right you inject the dependencies <laughs> but the thing is you don't have to initiate the class you just create a, a private instance and you then use auto wiring so when your parent class is loaded it will go and initiate this class and how it will initialize this class is like when you will you what kind of injection pattern you are using is it a setter or a constructor so dependency injection is actually the same so when you when you will use a setter injection you provide a optional dependency of an object like i hey, uh, you when i if i want some uh, instance of it i only want this this method but when you use constructor you can create everything which is present in the constructor right so it's always uh, we have to do that we have to differentiate a scenario when to use what so that is something where uh, most of the time if you have a lot of uh, like methods in a class which is unwanted that time you can use setter and when you have to know then you know that you need the class object all the time then you can have dependency uh with constructor injection so this one we will take up into the next video for now let us pause it here i hope you have enjoyed the particular session and uh, i would be very much interested to continuing this so we will meet you in the next video till then bye bye